Hi, so in this video we're going to have a quick look at GPO Explorer uh, within Net Tools and some of the features which are actually part of it. So GPO Explorer, so basically it's a um, very similar sort of functionality to what's in Group Policy Manager. Um, so we just blow this at the full screen and we just do a refresh so we can actually see a um, combination of the actual directory structure, the policies which have actually exist. If we click on the policy objects, we can actually see some details around those policies and some um, more information about those. And as we browse down through the directories, we can see what, what policies we inherited. We can also see the contents of the folder so we can see what, what objects will actually, those policies will be impacting. Um, so we can actually just do a general browse. So the icons as they appear here is that when there's a plus, um, that indicates a policy has been applied. Um, so this is a pretty sort of flat directory structure at the moment. So there's only the, these two at OUs um, where we actually apply policies. So the, uh, so we've got one at the top, and then domain controllers and this sample users. Now as we're browsing through the actual directory to see this, if we click on a policy, we can actually see the policy itself here. And this is the same view of what you get is if you actually click here. So it's actually in split screen, so we can actually see the scope of it. If there's any actual sites where the policy is applied, we should actually look into the settings of the actual policy and the actual security of it as well. So if we choose a policy, it's actually got some settings in it. Um, some of these policies are actually uh, just test policies or blank ones. So when we look at here, we can see that this policy has got some um, settings in it. And this is actually looking registry fragment for the policy. And it does this registry exploded view, so you can actually... Um, go through and see what settings have actually been said. So this, this policy is a bit more complicated, a bit more details in it. So we can actually see in here, this is actually to do with uh, direct access client settings. So we can, um, we can have a look at some of the settings which actually been applied to this in this. So you're actually looking directly into what's in the poll file and you can actually browse the contents for that. And this is the same sort of format as the, the rest of the sort of net tools. This plus symbol indicates there was a setting or um, setting made it there so you can actually see that these are the settings which are in this policy. Um, we can also see the security so this we can see the security straight away so we can actually look at um, which groups the, the actual policies can be applied to um, and we can also then look at sort of the attributes of the actual um, uh, the GPT attribute of uh, the actual objects. Um, as we actually browse these then, so when we actually look at the, the policy, we can actually then look into it and we can actually see this sort of side by side. Um, and then we can also then do a direct link into the folder. So we can actually go and look in the GPC and actually look at the contents of that actual container. So what we can also do as well is that um, we can actually do an edit. And depending on which editor is actually installed on the machine, so if you have Group Policy uh, Manager installed, then it will open in the Group Policy Manager. Um, or in this case, it's just open in the GP edit because uh, the group policy manager is not actually installed on this server. Um, so we just get the standard uh, um, GPO edit um, features. So we can just go through and we can actually edit that policy directly. So that was a quick overview of GPO Explorer. Until next time.